Isaiah chapter 43 says this, verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. This is in the Bible. See, God says, I am doing a new thing. It springs up right now, he says. Don't you perceive it? He's talking to those people who say, what happened? <laughs> he said, you can actually be in the middle of massive change and don't know it. For example, the Bahamas is going through tremendous change. Don't miss next week because I'm going to show you some of the changes we're going through. We're going through some dangerous changes as a country. America is going through massive change. And most people don't even know it. They go into church singing songs. And the country is changing in a massive way. Values are crumbling. Morality is disintegrating. And people still saying, hallelujah, you don't know. You better wake up. change and God says you got to perceive it there are 12 tribes in Israel 12 and some of these tribes are very well known the tribe of Judah the most famous one but there was a tribe the Bible says that was the most successful tribe more successful than Judah and the Bible said it was the smallest tribe it was one of the sons called Issachar Issachar was the most successful tribe in Israel. And the Bible tells us why. Now they were the smallest, but they were the most effective. And the Bible says Issachar was successful because they understood the times and they knew what to do. <laughs> Write that down. Understanding what? The times, so you'll know what to do. God says things are changing and you don't even perceive it. I want you as a believer, a kingdom citizen, to be so sharp this year that you'll be able to read the times, study the times you're in, and then know exactly what should be happening right now and what people ought to do. That's why we have to get involved in our national development now because the change is happening so fast, we cannot just let it happen. And I'm telling you now, with television on me right now, I'm telling you, don't tell me to stay out of nothing. Why? I have a right to say and do as a citizen what I need to do in my country because this is where I live. It's going to affect me and my children and their children's children and four generations shall be affected by every decision that you make. Stop criticizing and get involved. You Americans, stop criticizing, get involved. Start a youth group on campus and say, look, we're going to stand against certain values. They're going to criticize. They're going to attack us, but we're going to stand. You never make history by safety. You don't change the world by negotiating. You change the world by standing against the odds. Willing to die for your conviction. Otherwise, you're just a useless person like everybody else. Just paying bills and then dying. You know, some folks are so useless on earth. We got to put a tombstone on their grave to remind us they used to be here. Do you need a tombstone? It doesn't matter where they bury Nelson Mandela. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where Abraham Lincoln grave is. It really doesn't matter. When you live right and you live effectively, you don't need even a grave site. Do something in this church where we don't even need to go to a graveyard to check, see if you was here. Can we forget Pandora Gomez? Never. Can we forget Kayla Lockhart Edwards? Never. Can we forget Mark Bethel? Never. Why? It's not their spot where they bear it. It's their life that they lived. They did something. What are you doing? Sitting in the church quietly. I ain't going to youth meeting. I ain't going to the singles meeting. I ain't, I ain't got no time to go to prayer meeting. What are you doing? Eating, taking oxygen, and then warming a pew chair? Get involved.
agents of change. Look at this next statement. Divine change can happen without you. That's what God is saying. I could be doing something great, and you, not only do you know nothing about it, you're not even a part of it. Write this down, Miles Monroe, quote, never get caught where God used to be. Some people are still worshiping spots where God left a long time ago. Change. God never changes, but he's always changing things. Mystery. God is active in history. 